What's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, and yes, as the title says, if you weren't around last week, all of my stuff got hacked, and we're finally back into basically almost everything. And I figured I'd tell the story, update everyone on what's going on, what happened, how it happened, things I'm doing differently, and things like that. So I have been MIA from basically Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram for about a week now. Um, because all of my stuff was hacked. I have gotten back my Facebook, my YouTube. I'm going to get my Instagram back here soon. Twitter is proving difficult because I don't know anyone at Twitter. So that's proving a little difficult. At the end of the day, it's just Twitter. I don't make money from it, so it doesn't really bug me that much. So what happened? So last week, can't remember the exact day, I'm sitting down with my wife on the couch, uh, chilling, watching Air. By the way, if you haven't seen the movie Air about the story about Nike and Michael Jordan... Fantastic movie. Go watch it. Sitting on my couch, and my phone goes off, and it's a Google alert saying, hey, did you sign into your Gmail? Yes or no? And I was like, fuck no. And I hit the no, and ran into my office, and before, I, soon, I tried to log into my Gmail, and it was gone. Go to my YouTube, it's gone. So quickly, I, my wife was standing right next to me. I'm like, you go change all the bank shit, I'll change all the this shit, and we just started going after financials immediately. Like, fuck all the social media, like, secure the banks, financials, cancel all the cards, everything, immediately. So while we were focusing on that, the hacker was grabbing Facebook, YouTube, things like that. You know, the things, you got to prioritize in that situation. It's a race, basically. It's a race to see who can do what first. Um, and, of course, I'm securing all my money. You know, I, I got kids. <laughs> you know, I got to feed them. So I'm like, fuck this. We're securing all the money. Um, and, uh, so that's what we did. And by the time everything was said and done, all of our cards were canceled. All of our bank stuff was changed. Um, and they didn't get access to it, but I had lost Facebook and YouTube. Uh, I didn't lose Twitter right away, uh, because honestly I was just securing other stuff and they came back later and grabbed Twitter. Um, because Twitter doesn't really have a good two factor. And this is kind of another point to it. So, I use email, uh, different emails for almost everything. My YouTube and Facebook are on a Gmail that does not really exist on anywhere on paper. Like, you can't, you can't go through, like, send me an email on it. Like, it's really hard to find because I only use it to log into those two things. I had everything on that Gmail. I had two-factor. I had backup codes. I had Google Authenticator. You had to sign in on every single one. And so what we think happened was the session token was taken and able to bypass all of that, therefore making it completely useless and getting into it. And by the time that was done, they had gotten Facebook and everything else. But I did have um, a few sites saved, like the password saved on that uh, Google, just because I thought it was secure, which I didn't know about session tokens, to be honest, so now I know. So I had a few passwords and emails saved on there, um, just because it was an unknown backup account that I thought was secure. And it wasn't. So that's mainly what we were focusing on. And, of course, Twitter was one of those things. Um, so I wasn't, you know, honestly, I wasn't too stressed out about it. Because um, I'm managed by a pretty big management company that manages a lot of really large YouTubers. So I have, through them, direct access to YouTube. I'm signed by Facebook, which means they, they sign me and they pay me. So they're, they're getting me into my account, which wasn't that difficult. Um, so like once I lost all the social media stuff, I'm like, eh, you know, it ain't that bad. Uh, all my other emails were secure, you know, didn't get into any, any of that. Um, so the only thing they could really do any damage was just keep me out of YouTube, which the only annoying thing they did was post up, you know, crypto scam crap on my YouTube and get me a few strikes, which honestly, it was harder to get those strikes removed than it was to get back into the YouTube channel. I don't know why. So with all of that said and done, though, and just waiting to get access to everything, um, a lot of you might know I have some pretty interesting friend group. Um, I have friends that do some really crazy stuff for the U.S. government, know people that do pretty crazy U.S. stuff for the U.S. government, and I use that access quite a bit. Um, first of all, I had friends remote access to my PC, find some, any connections or anything like that. They did find one connection and remove it so that way they couldn't you know get into my computer anymore uh, i'm not sure where that came from to be honest because i don't open attachments i'm not that guy that you know gets hit with those stupid attachment crap like if i know the senders I, I double check everything um on another email before i even touch it on a big email i have like test email to see 
uh, if it's a scam or not. So I had them remote, cut that connection, uh, worked with another friend and to figure out who this person is. I know exactly who this person is. And we'll talk more about that. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that information at this point, and I'll talk about it why, but I know exactly who this person is. You, you are not hidden on VPNs. You will never be anonymous on the internet. I can promise you that. I've seen some pretty amazing and scary stuff this past week and how quickly people were, like I had friends who were able to find this guy, even through VPNs. It was wild. Um, and it's definitely super freaking scary. But I had them remote into it, and on top of that, to help them, uh, we actually set some traps. Uh, I sacrificed a few things um, to get them to play with that were traps, basically, that were placed by my buddies to figure out more of who this guy was. Um, having them send some enticing little messages on things that they would be like, oh, this is cool, you know, once they got into it, and it was a trap. So we have that card, too, that, we're, that I can play at any point. But, I, you know... Overall, dude, like this wasn't very stressful. It was a nice one week vacation. I hung out with my kids. I went to the beach a lot, like just hanging out. Like I almost went and got another surfboard because I was like, hey, let's go surfing and stuff. Um, but anyways, yeah. The funny thing about all of this though is um, it was kind of weird how I had to get back into my YouTube. I'm not going to go specifically into detail, but there was a certain thing that had to be sent to sent and, a, and it would create an alert for him to see, which he could cancel it, cancel that alert. So for most, the hardest part of getting the YouTube back was learning his schedule. I had to learn when he was sleeping and when he was active by what he was logging into or attempting to log into. And I made notes of it and we found a nice little window of where they could send this reset to where he wouldn't be aware it was happening and cancel it if he was even paying attention, I don't know. But either way, we, we sent this nice little zone where I know he wasn't gonna be awake is what it looked like, um, just from the activity. And that's how I was able to get back to YouTube. So we actually had to like learn a lot about this guy um, and his schedule and stuff like that to get everything back. But at the end of the day, um, when it comes to knowing uh, a lot of information about this guy, I'm not gonna dox, I'm not that kind of guy. That's, it's stupid. Um, he didn't cause me any harm. Um, he didn't commit wire fraud because he didn't get into bank accounts and try to spend any money, um, you know, or anything substantial that I'd be like, uh, like he tried to do a Google purchase, but that was immediately shut down by my bank. So um, not a huge deal. So I don't know if I'm really gonna like, honestly, if there's any charges to pursue, it's not worth my time or anything like that. Um, any revenge that I want, honestly, it wasn't huge. It wasn't a huge deal to me to go through all this effort to get revenge and things like that. Um, I just want to get back to playing games and getting back to doing anything like that. So at the end of the day, I mean, I thank him for the vacation and the stress. And I learned a lot and I got uh, some really cool insight on like not only how to secure stuff, because let me tell you, all that two-factor shit and stuff like that, it don't matter, dude. I promise you it doesn't matter. Um, your authenticator doesn't matter. None of that stuff. Um even if you have to sign in every time you log in, definitely, I would say one of the probably easier ways to get through most of that is to make it to where you have to sign in um, every single time um, you you like log on to something. No no cookies, get those cookies out of there and shit like that. That's probably one of the better things that I learned. I also learned that your profile on the internet is very easy to find. Everything about you is very easy to find. Uh, regardless of what you do, like there's no way to hide it. Honestly, you get people who literally do that for a job and it'll take them 20 minutes to find everything about you. Everyone, you know, your work history, your patterns. It's scary, dude. It is like, I was super stressed. I was more stressed watching what w one of my friends could do. It was pretty crazy. But at the end of the day, I don't know if I'm getting my Twitter back because I don't know anybody at Twitter. I already submitted all the evidence and things like that. I have a Trump card to get back my Twitter, which I really don't want to use because it's kind of annoying and it's time consuming as hell. And at this point, like, I just want to like, I don't care enough about Twitter to go through all that hassle. Um, I've definitely, you know, this isn't my first time getting hacked. I actually got, the first time I got hacked, I was in the Bahamas with my wife on vacation. Ruined my fucking vacation. I was pissed. Um, but they didn't get anything but emails. Uh, didn't get into anything else, which was super nice. Um, this is the most they've gotten as a hacker. It kind of comes with the territory. No matter what you do, you're still exposed. And, um, 
at the end of the day, you know, the most you can do is just mitigate it as much as possible. Like it's going to happen. And honestly, for the for most people, it's not going to happen that much. But for people like me, YouTubers, streamers, it it's kind of a uh, it comes with the territory situation. And I'm aware of it. But at the same time, you know, if all they take was the things that I can get back, it doesn't bug me as much as um, if they were to go after and try to clear bank accounts and things like that. But we have options for the future. Um, I don't. I don't think the person's going to try anything anymore because I. They're probably aware by now um, that we know who they are, um, and it is what it is. Um, you know, and honestly, dude, you can't hide on the internet. It's a scary, scary, scary thing. Um, from what I've seen, I think that was the most enlightening thing about this entire hack was watching how quickly the most anonymous person I think would possibly be anonymous was just unmasked. It was extremely scary. Um, definitely made me appreciate, you know, the fact that I have like fans that don't try to do this shit to me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it is super wild, man. Um, but you know, we got everything back. We're getting back into it. More six days. Um, Hell at loose new update. Uh, the F-15E for DCS, the early access for that. There's a lot of cool stuff out. I don't know if I'm going to get Diablo 4 early access. I don't think I'm going to pay 80, 90 bucks to play it a few days early. Um, but we will try out Diablo 4 on, the, uh, on the, uh, the live stream. But anyways, for those of you that, since you know a lot of you get updates, I stream every Monday through Friday on Twitch. Um, Mondays and Tuesdays is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesdays is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 6.30. I have to take the girls to dance. I don't know. You know, sometimes the chime changes. Thursday, 5 p.m., Friday, 6 p.m. So it's either 5 or 6 p.m. Always check around that time to see if I'm streaming. But, boys, we're back. Um, you know, lessons learned. No harm, no foul. It was a nice vacation, a nice reset to my brain, and I'm ready to dive back into some more content. So let me know what you guys think. You happy I'm back? Let me know down in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Peace.